from popular museums whose grounds are stocked by chilling ghostly manifestations linked to their various artifacts, to bustling universities where the dead still linger. Are you sure you're ready to brave my picks for some of the most haunted places in Atlanta, Georgia? Number 5. The Dupree Excelsior Mill Standing as a weathered testament to Atlanta's industrial heritage, the Dupree Excelsior Mill is a relic of a bygone era that whispers of the city's transformation over its decades. Its history is interwoven with the aspirations of early settlers and the relentless pursuit of progress, ultimately contributing to the city's growth and identity. Established in the late 1800s, this mill was a pivotal hub of economic activity, playing a vital role in the producing of flour and essential commodities for Atlanta's burgeoning population. The rhythmic sounds of its machinery, once a symphony of industry, echoed through its halls, creating a dynamic and bustling atmosphere that reflected the spirit of these times. While the mill's heyday may have faded, its legacy remains imprinted on the city's narrative. More recently, for a time, the site would serve as nightclub and concert venue The Masquerade before it was again sold. Currently, and following extensive repairs, it now awaits its next tenants and purpose. The Dupree Excelsior Mill serves as a tangible link to Atlanta's past, reminding all who encounter it of the generations of industrious individuals who labored within its walls to shape the city's destiny as a whole. Beneath the rusted beams and weathered walls of the Dupree Excelsior Mill, an aura of mystery and of the supernatural lingers, giving rise to stories of spectral encounters and inexplicable events. And visitors who explore its dilapidated remains have reported eerie experiences that hint at lingering presences from days gone. Among the most prevalent accounts are those of unexplained footsteps resonating through its corridors and chambers, with many having described hearing the distinct sound of bootsteps approaching from empty hallways as if the specters of former mill workers continue to travel their well-worn paths even in the afterlife. Additionally, whispers of knocking sounds and of distant voices have been reported, further fueling the mystique surrounding this mill's haunted reputation. It's almost as if the echoes of conversations and interactions that once filled its vibrant atmosphere have left an indelible mark that transcends the boundaries of time itself. The Dupree Excelsior Mill's spectral stories are a testament to the enduring imprint of history upon a place, and those who have ventured into its abandoned confines may find themselves enveloped in an ethereal embrace, connecting with generations of laborers who once toiled within its walls, and perhaps even catching a glimpse into a realm where the past and present intertwine. Number 4. Rhodes Memorial Hall Rhodes Memorial Hall, a stately and iconic edifice, stands as a sentinel of history and culture on the campus of Georgia State University. With its neoclassical architecture and commanding presence, this hall is a testament to the city's evolution and growth since its inception in 1909. Originally serving as the Fulton County Courthouse until 1914, Rhodes Memorial Hall bore witness to a myriad of legal proceedings, to community gatherings, and significant events that shaped Atlanta's socio-political landscape, and its role as a center of justice and civic engagement left an indelible mark, reflecting the aspirations and progress of the city during pivotal moments in its history. The hall's transformation from a courthouse into an academic institution symbolizes Atlanta's commitment to education and to cultural enrichment, perfectly mirroring the city's enduring spirit of innovation and reinvention. Amidst the grandeur of Rhodes Memorial Hall's architectural splendor lies an enigmatic layer of mystery that has ignited the imaginations of those who walk its hallowed halls. And over the years, reports of supernatural occurrences have given rise to tales of ghostly encounters and unexplained phenomena. Witnesses have shared accounts of footsteps echoing through deserted corridors, as if spectral echoes of the past inhabitants continue to tread the same paths they once walked in life. And many who have spent time in the building have described experiencing sudden changes in temperature or gusts of cold air, particularly in areas where legal proceedings once unfolded. Unexplained knocking sounds, eerie voices, and the sensations of being watched or touched by unseen presences have also been reported, only further adding to the aura of intrigue that envelops Rose 
Rhodes Memorial Hall. Incidentally, the building's historical ties to legal proceedings have led some to speculate that the spirits of individuals associated with the past may still linger, continuing to influence its present. As visitors explore the halls and chambers of Rhodes, they're invited to contemplate not only its architectural significance, but also the potential echoes of the past that intertwine with our era. This hall serves as an important reminder that history's imprint can transcend time, leaving an undeniable mark on places we inhabit. Number 3. The Fox Theater The Fox Theater is an architectural marvel that has graced the heart of Atlanta since its grand opening in 1929, and that stands as a testament to the city's commitment to culture, to entertainment, and to architectural advancement. Designed in the opulent style of a movie palace and vaudeville theater, the Fox quickly became a beloved institution that captured the imaginations of the city's residents and visitors alike. The site's construction was a response to the golden era of cinema and live entertainment, and it soon emerged as a hub of cultural activity that attracted audience from all walks of life. As the city evolved, so did the Fox Theater's role, weathering economic challenges, changing entertainment trends, and even the threat of demolition. Throughout its illustrious past, the Fox Theater has hosted an impressive array of performances from vaudeville acts to silent films to Broadway shows, and even live concerts by legendary artists. And its marquee has illuminated the dreams and aspirations of countless performers, patrons, and art enthusiasts, establishing itself as a cherished landmark that symbolizes the enduring spirit of Atlanta's artistic community. Beyond the captivating performances and dazzling lights that grace its stage, The Fox is also renowned for its enigmatic and ghostly tales that add an extra layer of intrigue to its reputation. And over the years, numerous accounts of paranormal encounters have fueled stories of spectral visitors and of unexplained phenomena within its walls. Among the most famous and enduring ghost stories associated with The Fox Theater is that of a ballerina, who's believed to be the spirit of a former performer. Incidentally, witnesses have reported glimpsing an elegant and ethereal figure gracefully dancing across the stage or along the periphery, evoking an aura of timeless beauty and of artistry. And some speculate that this spectral ballerina may be reliving her moments of passion and expression, forever bound to the theater she once graced. In addition to the ballerina, reports of being watched or accompanied by unseen entities while inside the theater have piqued the curiosity of visitors, employees, and paranormal enthusiasts alike. And some have recounted inexplicable cold drafts, faint whispers, or even gentle touches that defy explanation, creating an atmosphere that borders the line between reality and the supernatural. The Fox Theater's reputation as a cultural epicenter and its haunted legends converge to create a captivating and immersive experience for all those who step through its doors, and many who venture into its ornate corridors may find themselves enveloped in an otherworldly embrace, where the echoes of performances past intertwine with the ethereal whispers of the present. Number 2. The Wren's Nest House Museum Nestled in the historic West End neighborhood of Atlanta, the Wren's Nest House Museum stands as a tangible link to the life and literary legacy of Joel Chandler Harris, an author whose Uncle Remus stories have left an indelible mark on American folklore. The house, built in 1870, served as Harris's residence during a significant phase of his life and creative output. Joel Chandler Harris's imaginative retelling of African-American folktales and his creation of iconic characters such as Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox captured the hearts and minds of readers, marking his home as a hub of literary inspiration and cultural explorations. The Wren's Nest became a gathering place for artists, writers, and thinkers of the time, where discussions on storytelling, folklore, and societal issues ignited. By opening its doors as a museum, the Wren's Nest continues to honor Harris's legacy while inviting visitors to engage with the complexities of his work and the historical context that shaped it. Notably, the house stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring impact of narratives that transcend generations. Amidst the literary enchantment and historical significance of the Wren's Nest House Museum lies a realm of whispers and shadows, where presences of the past seem to linger. And over its years, numerous accounts of unexplained occurrences have given rise to stories of ghostly encounters and to otherworldly manifestations within its walls. Among the experiences shared by museum visitors, employees, and volunteers is the sensation of a benevolent presence, as if the spirit of Joel Chandler Harris himself continues to reside within his former abode. And some have described feeling a comforting and watchful aura, as if Harris's creative spirit remains eternally connected to the place where he crafted his arts. 
Moreover, the faint scent of tobacco, often associated with Harris and his pipe smoking habits, has been reported in certain areas of the house. As if a trace of his earthly presence lingers, evoking a sense of intimacy and connection that transcends the boundaries of time. Visitors have also recounted inexplicable sounds such as footsteps and whispers that seem to echo through the rooms, evoking an atmosphere reminiscent of lively discussions and storytelling sessions that once filled the house. These unexplained phenomena invite those who step into the wren's nest to consider the interplay between literature, history, and the ethereal, where stories both spoken and unspoken continue to unfold. In the quiet corners and hidden recesses of the Wren's Nest House Museum, the legacy of Joel Chandler Harris and the tales he shared seem to intertwine with the mysterious forces that shape our perception of reality. And as visitors explore this house, they're invited to engage not only with the literary treasures it holds, but also with the spectral echoes that evoke a sense of connection across the realms of time and imagination. Number 1. The Shakespeare Tavern Playhouse the Shakespeare Tavern Playhouse, nestled in the heart of Atlanta, is a captivating and distinct cultural gem that takes visitors on a journey through time and literature. Established in 1984, this extraordinary venue was designed with a remarkable dedication to replicating the ambiance of Elizabethan playhouses, thus enabling audiences to immerse themselves in the enchanting world of Shakespearean performances as they were meant to be experienced. With meticulous focus on authenticity, this playhouse's architectural design, seating arrangement, and stage configuration pay homage to the timeless settings where Shakespeare's plays originally flourished. Incidentally, this attention to detail allows theater enthusiasts, scholars, and casual spectators alike to step back in time and connect with the artistic and cultural legacy of the past. Having carved a niche for itself within Atlanta's cultural landscape, the Shakespeare Tavern Playhouse is celebrated not only for its engaging performances, but also for its educational initiatives and commitment to preserving the traditions of classical theater. And its profound impact has rendered it an enduring institution beloved by generations of Atlantans and visitors alike. Beneath the allure of captivating performances and literary masterpieces, the Shakespeare Tavern Playhouse is rumored to harbor spectral secrets that add a layer of mystique to its already enchanting atmosphere. And over the years, numerous accounts of inexplicable phenomena have given rise to stories of ghosts and unexplained occurrences within. One of the most intriguing experiences reported by patrons, actors, and staff members is the sensation of being observed or touched by unseen presences. And many have described an inexplicable feeling of being watched or a accompanied by an ethereal presence while attending performances or even during rehearsals, with some having shared stories of experiencing these sensations in the balcony area, where the boundaries between the living and the otherworldly seem to blur. Moreover, whispers of disembodied voices and faint echoes of conversations have been reported, especially in areas that were once bustling with the energy of lively audiences. These unexplained vocalizations have led some to speculate that the theater might retain echoes of its past, as if the spirits of both actors and patrons from bygone eras continue to inhabit its halls. As with many of our listed haunted locations, the true nature and origin of these phenomena remain enigmatic, leaving room for speculation and wonder. Whether one is a staunch believer in the supernatural or a curious skeptic, the Shakespeare Tavern Playhouse offers a captivating blend of history, culture, and the unexplained, inviting all the step into its world of enigma and allure. Thanks for joining me for my picks for some of the most haunted places in Atlanta, Georgia. If you enjoyed hearing my histories and ghost stories, subscribe to my channel, like this upload, and share me with anyone you feel could use a good scare. I'll catch you next time.